So in question number three of the second exercise, we have been given a number 24x, which is a multiple of three, where x is a digit, and we'll have to basically find the value of x. Now to answer this question, we'll use the divisibility rule of three, which says that if any number is a multiple of three, then the sum of the digits of that number will definitely be divisible by three. Now to answer this question, let us first consider the sum of the digits of the given number. So the sum of the digits would be two plus four plus X, which in the next step would become six plus X. Now we'll have to assign different values of X for which the sum would have to be divisible by three. So we know that if we put in x equals zero. So the sum would be six plus zero, which will give us a six. And this number would be divisible by three. So when we are going to assign the next value for x, we'll have to make sure that the sum should result in a number which is divisible by three. Now for that to happen, the next number of x which we have taken would be 3 as there is a gap of 3 values between the values of x. So the next number would result in the sum of 6 plus 3 which will be 9 and again we see that this number is divisible by 3. Now if we again assume the next value of x to be 6 then the sum would become 6 plus 6, 12, which again is divisible by 3. Let us now take the next value of x, which is 9. Now for this value of x, the sum would be 6 plus 9 equals 15. Now since it's already mentioned in the question that x is a single digit, so we cannot assume any further values for x. Hence to answer this question, the different values of x would be 0, 3, 6 and 9. So basically this is how we are going to find these values of x and this is how we are going to answer the third question of this exercise. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, Explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.